James Hebby and the Big Cheese founder of Travel Gift Card. I'm a bit twisted. Mytab.co.co, not .com. And this is my best friend, Muppet Bundle Cundle, who won't go anywhere without a tennis sports. So we're just going to keep it there just for now because she loves it. Today we're talking about how to make a call to action for your fan page. <clears throat> we're talking about, say, for example, on Facebook, um, you, keeping the conversation open, uh, having images that people can then relate to, that they'll want to share, they'll want to get traction with. I'm going to show you a couple of very, very easy ways of how we've done it for my tab. And even though people don't actually, uh, we don't have huge amounts of people like liking and commenting on our pages, we have a huge amount of back traffic to our website. Come with me. Okay, so we're on my tab, facebook.com slash my tab. Check it out, love it, like it, do all the things you're supposed to do with it socially. So click down here, look at this one, like where in the world are my tabbers? We put a new infograph up there, which I love this infograph. All different things that people are doing, where they're going, blah, 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 um, uh, what's going on with like travels. So this is something that's obviously just purely based on visual. Then you've got these other ones that are coming down here, like where are you heading to? Are you in it to win it for the World Cup and, and, and the Olympics? Again, call to action. You can see a few people commented and sharing, etc. And then the next thing about my tab, again, you've got another visual that's down here about a clipping from a press article that came out about us, uh, who's liking it, who's sharing, etc. Just things like questions out, hey, we want to get your feedback, we want to get your information on something. Let us know what you think about the site, including visuals. These are direct call to actions. It makes life so much easier, so then you can track the back traffic. She's really bored already about the... I'm up it. Are you really bored? Of course you're not. There you go. Look straight at the camera. Good girl, well-trained dog. So when you're looking at something like um, a call to action, don't think that, oh, you've got 500 people that liked your page. I don't like this here, actually. I'm just going to get rid of that. You've got 500 people that liked your page or you the, like the status update that you did. It's absolutely completely irrelevant in one respect because you're looking mainly at the back traffic. Oh, yes, sharing is a big one. Liking? No, it's not the biggest deal in the world. But we have the amount of people that we have coming through. Some like It's a really high ratio. I'm not going to go into specifics with you. But customers who then click on the link that go back then to my tab that's a really high ratio for us so obviously that is a direct call to action don't think it has to be you have to visually see it on Facebook on each status update for that to be a call to action it can be based on it created some kind of results people were intrigued that went over to your site my name is Hedy I'm the big cheese founder of travel gift card mytab.co it is a .co it is not a .com and this is a Muppet <laughs>